Welcome to all the E-Type club members, E-Type Jagger enthusiasts, even though this is not about E-Types. Uh, this is where we live in Austria. Well, it's not particularly nice today, it's only 20, a bit overcast you can see up there. But uh, what I want to do is show you the this little mini bar um, that I was making. I'll take you around and let you have a look at it. It's uh, We've got it finished now, we just had uh, nine, ten guests, no, fifteen over the weekend, but uh, nine stayed, so I wanted to finish the bar off. This is uh, kind of cool, and that's all swimming pool. And uh, yeah, so it's a bit overcast today, unfortunately. Whoop, fell off the bloody walkway. So yeah, this is a bit quirky idea that I came up with. We had a, an old uh, Mini Cooper body where uh, the shell wasn't worth keeping. The front end of it, we used some of it for another car and then I had the back end and I was trying to think of what to do with it. So this is an idea I came up with. Um, we've taken all the parts from this car, all the Cooper parts off it. It was a, the last of the carburetted one. And we've put, we put them into this new shell here, which we're building. There's a mini under there. And the way this works is um, you, I've got it on the, I've got it on casters. It looks like it's on the ground, but it's actually on casters, and they're just two false pipes sticking out the back, make it look like exhaust, but they're just pipes. And then when you open the car up, you can see, you can see here, when you open the car up, it's got the fridge and the bar and everything inside it. So there's the the fridge. All the beer and wine and things in it. Still got to do a bit of finishing off. I've, I've got it almost right. Uh, there's a little Perspex cover going over this for the glasses and what have you. And uh, I just made that little end up there to cover the to cover where the door check would have been. It's not a real door. It's just a piece of metal I put over it to make it end up going. It's not finished yet. I've still got to put the petrol cap uh, back on it. Um, yeah, and then. And then the last thing that will happen is, um, oh, I didn't show where it was hinged there. There you can see the hinge in the corner. But what I've got to do now is, is obviously put something here. So when it's closed, you don't actually, hang on, when it's closed and it's straight. So what I'll do is I'll put something there. Uh, so it'd be red, you know, so it looks like it's the end of the car, so it has something to sit up against. But yeah, I thought, uh, thought it was a bit different. I've seen the, the front of these used for barbecues, you know, where the, you lift the bonnet up and make it into barbecue, but I've never seen the back end used apart from a, a little trailer, a little mini trailer. So yeah, that was the, and the fridge, the fridge is a little bit retro, it's a bit the old uh, 60s kind of look with the rounded corners. And it's called the classic as well, strangely enough. But there you go. So yeah, that's what we've done. So when people come along and they look in the garden, they say, "What's why is this car halfway through the wall? And I just say, well, it's, a, it's our mini bar, like you get in a hotel. Anyway, something different. It was going to the scrap anyway, and there was all the bits and pieces were on it, so I thought, why not use it? Anyway, thanks for looking in. But as I say, this is... Uh, this is our home here. Underneath here, I have another garage. Uh, it's actually underneath this pergola. Um, and the reason this is all walled up like this is because when we bought the property, there's about 4,000 square meters here, um, and this was quite undulated and down. And then we, over a period of about four or five years, we put this uh, walling in on the sides. And then all the earth that came out of the natural pool, we dug and we put it in and and, uh, and then filled it up so we could reclaim the ground. That's our house there. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely place to live. So, it's a new house going up there in the centre. Some uh, friends of ours, they're building that for weekends and when they retire. Anyway, thanks for looking in. I uh, hope you like the idea. It's a bit strange, a bit bit funky I thought but uh, yeah
Anyway, thanks for looking in. If, if you like the idea, give us a thumbs up. And uh, I'll, the next one I'll do, I'll be on the XK. We're going to start again on Monday and start stripping the Jaguar, the XK Jaguar down. So I'll do some videos on that. Anyway, take care. Thanks and have a nice weekend when it comes up. Bye for now. Bye.